Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a special series watch by Breitling, part of the capsule collection, meaning short production and relatively restricted supply. This is the 2020 Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 57 Outer Known, a collaboration with Outer Known featuring a sustainably sourced recovered nylon strap and the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 57 from the capsule collection, celebrating the original 1957 Breitling 1004 Super Ocean Dive Watch. So the timepiece is stainless steel with a ceramic bezel insert, 42 millimeters in diameter. Uh, two different ways to measure the thickness of this one, as I measured both, 12.8 millimeters with the NATO style strap, and then it is 10.2 millimeters if you just talk about the case thickness itself without the strap. It's 46 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, and there's a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now we're going to throw the watch on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist and you can see that NATO's wear a little bit large. I'll do my best to represent how this watch would actually sit if strapped down. You can see it sits high. The NATO strap fits well. It is comfortable. It's going to add a little bit of loft to the case. I prefer to wear my watches with conventional straps, but the NATO, very handsome, historically evocative, rugged, utilitarian, and very adjustable in the field. I could recommend this watch with or without the NATO strap for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. And then you can see the edge. It's really not near the edge of my wrist. I'll hold it without the strap crimped down so you could better get a sense of how much clearance I have on each side of my wrist, quite a bit to say the least. The strap is made of econel, or what Outer Known describes as econel, recovered nylon, basically recovered polymer synthetic from flotsam and jetsam, mostly fishing gear and garbage in the sea. So the idea here is that it is a sustainably sourced technical fiber. We have still applied stickers to protect the strap minders and a polished Breitling pin buckle. We have lovely striation between black and what I would describe as blood orange. The strap can easily be removed, and I guess I may as well do that now that you've seen it on the wrist. We'll remove as much of the strap as necessary to appreciate the case back, which is unique to this model. You can see the O and the K, outer known. The watch being a certified chronometer, and as you can see, 100 meters water resistant, that is the reverse side of the timepiece. Jumping around, you can see that the case band is relatively thin, and the lugs tapered with squared off ends, just as they would have been in 1957. The watch has a polished and knurled bezel profile, and as it would have been back in 1957, the bezel is bi-directional, so while this is a swimmable sports watch dive style, it is not a dive watch per the ISO 64. 25 that governs dive watches today. That said, it is ready for adventure, and you can use this bezel for timing things short of life-saving backup to your dive computer as the bezel can move in both directions, so it could shorten or extend a dive, and a real dive bezel would not do that today. We have the ceramic insert, which makes the bezel highly scratch tolerant, and a lovely domed crystal in sapphire, but it's got a wonderful high camber to make it look like a vintage plexiglass. We have a fotina, both in the bezel pearl and on the dial, and again, this dial design drawn from 19 1957. It's on a sort of brown bronze sunburst base with the combination of appliques and the brown bronze sunburst base. This is much more upscale in materials and appearance than the original 1957 watch. It is a certified chronometer. It is 100 meters water resistant and the timepiece includes a basic Salida SW300 movement, or ETA 2892A2. I've seen both claimed for this watch, but since Breitling claims in some of the literature 21 joules, if it is 21 joules, then it is the ETA 2892A2 in chronometer spec. Bidirectional automatic winding, 42-hour power reserve. It has hacking or stop seconds, and it beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, water resistant down to 100 meters with the five-position adjustment and chronometer certification. Reach out to TMASO, at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 57 Outer Known. And we're back with the Super Ocean Heritage 57 Outer Known.